John? Yes. I'll play the part of circus musician. Hello, John. Uh, may I hand you a ball in your hand? It's going to be a ball. Copy with a ball, so he like, he goes, hold the ball to where no one can see anything, and John has to sleep rolled up. And he starts doing this thing, and he's like, all right, now I'm going to get, I'm going to, no, no, keep it up, keep it up, and he's doing this thing. And grabs it, so John, yeah, that's good John's reaction. And he goes, all right, John, now shake it a little bit, and open your hand. Nothing happened right now, but in reality, two balls fell out, and so John's like, and we're looking at each other, and then he starts doing this thing, and he's like, all right, we're going to fix you up a little bit, John, and so he's going around, and Oh yeah, we gotta fix you up a little bit, so uh, make sure you do this. It's not gonna be impressive because I can't do anything. Make sure that's not too loud. Uh, oh, you're all set, you're all set. Uh, make sure it's tight, okay. Uh, nothing pushing that pocket, all right. You're good. Thanks a lot, John. Come in. So John walks away. Wait, John, you might want this. And he pulls his wallet out. And he opens it up. He goes, let me look through it first. And he opens it up, and it's like a passport. It's all his uh, money because he's visiting from Boston. So it's like everything John needed to get back to Boston. And then he's going, all right, now you're free to go. So John goes back. Then he goes, wait, one more thing. And none of us really realized it. Like, we didn't really know. I'm sitting on stage. I'm as far as you guys are from the stage watching this happen. And then he goes, you might want this. And he pulls his tie out of his pocket. <laughs> and we're talking to John later. And John's like, guys, I, I tie a double Windsor knot, which is double knotted. And I keep it so tight that I can feel it, like feel the pressure on my throat. He goes, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. And so he's sitting there like, I can't take my tie off on set. I'm going, how do I, how do I like, help you, Jensen, help. Uh, and meanwhile, we got to see it. So it was a lot of fun. And I highly, highly recommend it. I don't know what's more amazing, the fact that he could get his tie off without him knowing, or the fact that John wore a tie to a certain <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. I didn't, I didn't really uh, think about yeah, that. Big people did that anyway. What about, uh, did anybody see the, anybody here for more than a week? There was a good play in town, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, did you see that? I feel like I'm like the Vancouver yeah, like the tourism board. Tour tour I have pamphlets for uh, all the restaurants. Uh, don't want to know a good place to eat. Uh, what else y'all been doing? How was, uh, how was Jason's concert? I heard we lost one, though. He's making people faint now? Is that the Yeah. Will somebody faint for us? I feel bad. I'm like, Jason's like Elvis. He's like the Beatles. We don't have any fainters. It's those musicians, those dream no, musicians. But we hear she's uh, she's doing all right. She's still uh, yeah. she's still in the hospital, I believe. But, yeah. uh, so yeah. we're all gonna send her our love. We're pulling for her. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna send her some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's about right. She came all this way. So who came from uh, the farthest for the first time? Where'd y'all come from? Nice. Welcome. That's, Welcome. That is pretty far. Across the ocean. Are your arms tired? <laughs> All the fun. I have a funny story about Misha. Did y'all see Misha? Maybe he might go on the toilet. Did you see him about her yesterday, right? Yeah. Did he tell you about, uh, about his phone? Yeah. 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 After all these years, I'm still going, oh, they can't hear me. I've had to look. I need to find the middle ground. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a. Misha and I sort of have a love hate thing going on, so most of the time it's uh, hate. <laughs> but yeah, if, if, if Jared was the cat, then Misha would be the ball of string. <laughs> That's true. That's essentially. Just kind of hit him around. Or like, yeah, just batting him around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. I need a nap. <laughs> That's what I tried. So yeah, so, so tell him tell about the... Uh, the All right, well, here's, here's the real story, because I'm sure he embellished it. Um, it, it being Misha. So... Misha has a lot going on right now. He's not working a whole lot. I think he had the first three or four episodes off or something. He's, he's worked like two days this year. Yeah, which helps the hate on my part. I hate him. I read the script, he's not in it. I hate him more. He's not in it, I hate him more. Uh, so he still gets paid for all the episodes. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> he's still cashing in, so he's sending his text. He's like chin ching while he's off, you know, flying, vacationing with his with Vicky. And I think I got a text. I think it was like 2 a.m. on Friday or Saturday, and I'm like, uh, Misha sends me a random text, hey, you all set? It's like, yeah, what's going on? Like, you need help? I'm thinking his wife is going to labor or something. And he's like, no, I just want to let you know that Warner Brothers is paying for our kayak vacation right now. <laughs> so, he's like, yeah, I'm kayaking on Salt Spring Island. Thanks, Warner Brothers. Thanks, Supernatural. And so, uh, meanwhile, we're like freezing and, and working and being straight up. Like, but he, uh, he's had a lot going on, so we put sort of a, a moratorium on our, on our pranks of each other. 
But there's kind of a, a little caveat, there's a little rule that if someone just opens themselves up for a prank, then you got to. And so, um, so it's a day on set. Yeah, A, you don't pull your car into the parking lot and leave the keys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Jensen got it too. Yeah, that's right. Stuff like that. You don't pull your car right in front of our trailer and leave your keys. No, that car's not going to be there when you go back. Yeah. Period. It's, yeah. So Misha's a big Unless one. Unless it's Cliff's truck, then you just leave that alone. He's bigger. Uh, do y'all know, uh, know about Jensen stealing his car? Oh. The phone's better. Tell the phone. I just moved his car onto Soundstage 3 and yeah, he left it there behind a big translate, which is yeah. a, a big kind of, you know, the, the, the cityscapes that they, that they hang right. outside a window so it looks like we're in downtown. Right. If I, I hit it behind one of those. It was funny because here, this wall. here I come pulling into, you know, a door this size with this car. Was he having an Audi or something? Yeah. We're pulling in. Like all the crew guys were like, no, 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 no. And then they see me, they're like, right this way. <laughs> Who's driving on some? Oh, this way, sir. This way. Hit the dirt. So, um, but, but then Misha left his phone or something. So Misha, uh, he, uh, he had to work on this episode. And he what an idiot. Yeah. He literally had to work one day. Uh, like for three or four hours, he was done. And I don't know, for those of you who don't know, maybe he hasn't talked about it, Misha's a huge runner, a huge, 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 massive runner. I think two weeks ago, he ran a marathon on Saturday and a marathon on Sunday. 